PaintShop Pro is feature rich in color correction and enhancement tools. If you take the time to learn and have the time to use these tools, you can achieve great results. Unfortunately, I'm a bit lazy to invest the time to learn all of the tools and tricks and really don't want to spend a lot of time getting the color right. So I look for ways to simplify my color enhancements. This tutorial describes my favorite shortcut to perfect color, a plugin from PictoColor called iCorrect Edit Lab PSP. Now available in both 32 and 64 bit versions for all the recent versions with PaintShop Pro. After you install a plugin into PaintShop Pro, you go up to the effects, scroll down the plugins, and select the plugin, in this case, iCorrect Edit Lab Pro. iCorrect Edit Lab Pro is a professional color correction and color management software that combines iCorrect color technology with image processing workflow functions to make digital color correction extremely easy and fast. Edit Lab has four color tools arranged in a particular sequence. Tab one is the color balance used to remove color cast. Tab two is the black, gray, and white point selection, which is used to alter the range of tones. Global brightness, contrast, and saturation controls are in tab three. These are used to redistribute the tone values between black and white and between neutral and fully saturated colors. Tab four is the hue selective edit tab which provides brightness, saturation, and hue controls, which are constrained by user-defined hue regions. Now, the particular order of these tools allows a systematic method, method of color correction that reduces the amount of interaction among them. Moving from tab one through tab four, you will avoid the chasing your tail syndrome commonly experienced when using the built-in PSP controls. For example, an adjustment in made in tab two or four will not alter the correction of tab one. So first I will remove the color cast by clicking on a couple areas of white, gray, or black. If we want to zoom in, we hold a control alt key down and we can get a closer view. And holding them down again, clicking again, back out to zoom. Notice there was a slight blue cast to this original image, which was removed. Now we go to tab two and alter the tonal range. I like to click on smart color, which automatically grabs the two endpoints and sets the midtone. This particular face, we can still adjust more. So let's move the point down a bit and let's move the midtone to where it's peaking. Uh, looks much better, right? You can always compare the corrected image with the original by clicking on the preview button. Now, if we go to tab three, we could adjust the global brightness, shadows, and highlights, but this actually looks pretty good, so I think we'll skip this tab and go directly to the Hue Select uh, control point technology in tab four, where we can tweak the hues within the photo. Once again, I should point out that this tool cannot alter the color balance, tonal range, or overall brightness, contrast, or saturation adjustments we made in previous tabs. First, I'll select the golden tab of the monument. You'll notice as soon as we clicked on the image, the hue select wheel identified that hue. Now we can adjust the saturation by boosting it a bit, and let's boost the brightness a little bit. All right, that looks much better. Next, let's click on the blue sky. Again, you notice that the hue select wheel identified a particular hue of the sky. Edit Lab has some built-in memory colors. There's skin, foliage, and blue sky. So by clicking on the B for blue, we automatically then adjust the hue of the blue sky to the pre-selected, 
we want to adjust it further, we could actually grab this and move the saturation maybe a little bit more. Now let's go and click on the green of the trees. And let's move the hue color, uh, the hue wheel a little bit. Oops, there we go. Now let's boost the brightness and the saturation. It actually looks quite good. Now let's compare it with the original. Wow, we've made some dramatic improvements and really it only took us really a few seconds. Now Edit Lab also has a built-in sharpen and noise removal functions. If when these are clicked, when you edit the image, the color correction, sharpen, and noise are all applied in the proper order. For example, you first remove noise, then correct the color, and then sharpen the image. In this particular case, I'll just click Sharpen, and we'll click on Edit Image, and we're finished. Now, Edit Lab Pro also includes a number of workflow features designed to streamline your color workflow. You can learn more about these features in the Edit Lab online user guide, which you can access directly from the photo or the Edit Lab plugin. You can find out more about simplifying your color enhancements with iCorrect Edit Lab at PictoColor's website, www.pictocolor.com.